Welcome adventure and let me start with a question. Do you love games like Dungeon Keeper or maybe Dungeon Series? Well, I bet you answer yes then I got something for you. And this game is called Infested Fortress. But what's so special about this Infested Fortress? Isn't it another clone of the Dungeon Keeper? And let me answer this way. Do you ever imagine playing a Dungeon Keeper but with Tron based combat? Oh, sounds good, definitely, and there will be a lot of RPG elements in this game, skills and so on. So friends, if you are interested, hit that like button and of course subscribe. And let me tell you more. You start your game by selecting three party members, a brave heroes who will go into the dungeon, I mean fortress, and they are so different. And all of them have two positive skill and one negative. My knight is very lazy and he cannot train at normal speed. And mage have gastrophobia, he cannot cook at all. And this is excellent decision, cause now all your heroes have a personality, they will not be the same. Well, now you have to rebuild the dwarven fortress, defeat a tons of underground monsters, but your main goal will be. All of the evil in this land comes from a single source, the ancient dragon. We must find a way to defeat it. But what about a gameplay? And it will be quite similar to other games of this genre. So you will dig your dungeon, gathering different resources, yes. They are hiding here, and with the help of these resources you will beat a lot of structure, like this field or maybe this well. And of course your hero will need a bed to sleep and a lot of things. I just want to show you how much you can construct. Ok, so for people, farming, a lot, really a lot, chicken farm, pig farm, we will have a food, oh, a lot of it also, windmill, storage, training, workshops and the groundworks. And time from time good heroes want to join you. There will be a lot of resources in this game and what I want to show you is this screen. You see, when your hero do certain kind of jump building for example, he becoming better and better in it. Oh, that's something special and there also will be a crafting and pretty good one. You can craft a lot of things. Can I do something? Yes, just take a look at that. But you need a special resources. And I believe you will need this miss. And now let's check our heroes. I have four heroes so far. Ok, you lazy knight. What do you have? You can see the stats. But what I actually like is the skill trees. Just take a look at that. There will be so many skills. Combat related and I believe there will be non-combat related. Ok, I can learn this one. Let's do it. Can I? No, it seems that I can't. Ok, and what about you fire mage? Look at that, plenty of skill and they are so different. He is a frost mage, he has a frost in magic skills. Oh my god, excellent, excellent. Each new ability we learn opens up new options to explore. Oh yeah, and to fight with very very powerful monsters. Wow, that's really add a huge RPG part to the game. They also have morale and inventory, but you will learn it by yourself. And maybe you notice that I'm not alone in this dungeon. Somebody is eating my food. Oh my god, and what is this? A boar? A wolfy? What are you doing in my dungeon? It's mine, heroes. Why do you do nothing to them? And yes. Oh, a chicken joined me, excellent! We will have some wild animals and even goblin raiders. Let's start with the goblin raiders. Of course, we will have much, much more later. But let's fight the same animals. And it's time to show you how combat looks like. 
Come on, guys, gather. Oh, Scorpion came to the help. No way. You see, my heroes are gathering, and it's time for combat. So, what do we have here? A pretty classical Tron based combat. You will have your team and they have their team. They will move in certain orders. And you see, every your hero have a lot of spell. And even the belt with the potions. Oh, okay. Let's try to hit this wound. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, knight. Oh, only can be used on yourself. And what about this ability? And he get crippled, so there will be even conditions here. Excellent, let's switch to my next character. And it's my frost mage. Can you cast your deadly spells? Oh, mages are pretty powerful. And what about you? You are also a mage. No. That wolf is still alive, it's not good. But no matter what, I found this combat pretty good. It's pretty classical and really, really very interesting. Wolfie, you eat a lot of my food and gain too many experience. And now it's hard to kill you. Okay, let's end the Tron. Oh no, poison. But you get the idea about the combat. Believe me, it will be just good. I really enjoy it. Come on. Let's do maximum zoom and look at the battlefield. Isn't it look good? It look excellent. And of course, later in the game, enemies will become more powerful, so you will have to manage all this base building stuff and don't forget about your party. You must train them, they must gain a level, cause you remember, there will be a dragon in the end, a very powerful and ancient dragon, and you definitely need to be ready for him. So what can I say in conclusion, I find this mix of Dungeon Keeper with strong based combat and a lot of RPG elements. Just amazing. It's exactly the game I want to play. Maybe visuals are not super great, but they are not bad either. I truly believe Infested Fortress deserve your attention, so I will leave a link in the description of this video. And one more question, which of the games like Dungeon Keeper is your favorite one? Let me know in the comment section below and I was very glad to meet you and I will see you in my next video. Meet you there.